Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a system so you can save your game, load your game, and also delete your save game slot if you want to do that. So if I press the 1 button, it's going to save my player character's location, rotation, and scale. So I just saved my game, and now I press the 2 button, it's going to load that. So maybe I want to go here and save my game, and then if I move here and press 2, it'll load my character back there. But if I press the 3 button, it's going to delete my save game, and then I can't load it anymore. To get started, go over to your Blueprints folder and just right click, go Blueprint Class, then go to All Classes and look for a Save Game. Just select it and I'm just going to call this my Save Reference. Head inside here, then we're going to save a variable. So if we just go to this Add New Variable tab and just call this Save Transform. Go to the variable type and I'm just going to change this to be a transform. If we just compile this, the transform will basically save the location, rotation and scale of an object. We can just save and then close this. Head over to the third person character and we want to go to the event begin play node. So this will run as soon as the game starts and event begin play, we're going to check to see if we have a save system. If we don't, we're going to create one. So after here, I'm just going to drag off here and look for does save game exist. For the slot name, this is going to be the name of our save game. I normally just call my save games 1. So this node will basically check to see does save game slot name 1 exist. We can drag off here and look for branch. If it doesn't, then we're going to create a save game with the slot name 1. So if we just drag off false and look for create save game object, then for the save game class, Select the save reference that we just made. We then just want to right click on this return value and promote it to a variable and we can just call this our save reference. Then we just want to drag off here and look for save game to slot and for the slot name type in 1. So what this will do is it will create a save game under the slot name 1. If we already do have a save game under the slot name 1, what we're going to do is just drag off true and look for load game from slot. The slot name should be 1, so the same as this. Then we just want to drag off here and cast to the save game reference. Then we just want to drag in our save reference and set it and just connect it into here. That way if we're loading our game, we basically have a reference to the save variable. We can then compile this and we're going to create a simple save system where we basically save our player character's transform and we'll also make it so we can delete our save system. So. If we just right click and look for the 1 key, the 2 key and the 3 key and just add all of those. So when I press the 1 button, I'm going to save my player character's transform. So to do this, I'm first going to just drag off 1 and look for does save game exist under slot name 1. If it does, then we can have another branch. Then I'm just going to right click and look for get actor transform. And then I want to drag in my save reference, get it, and just drag off here and look for the save transform. And we're going to look for the set save transform and just connect it into here. So we're going to store whatever our player character's transform is inside of our save variable. Then we just want to drag off here and look for save game to slot and for the slot name type in one. This will basically save this inside of our save game reference. Nice. When we press the 2 button, I'm going to load my save. So if we just drag off 2 and then look for does save game exist. Again, we want slot name 1. And then again, we want to have a branch. If this is true, then we are just going to right click and look for set actor transform. And we're going to set it to be whatever our save transform is. So if I just drag in my save reference get it, drag off here and look for the save transform, get it and just connect this into here and then this into here. I'm also just going to drag off here and look for print string and just make the save, save game so we can see it and then I'm going to drag off here and look for print string and make this a load game. So now if I go compile and I play this, when I press the um, 1 button it saves my game. If I were to now press the 2 button, it's going to load my game 
at my um, exact transform. Let's say I rotate and then I press the one button and save my game. When I press two, I'll be at that exact transform. Okay, so you may want to allow the player to delete the save in their game. To do this, when we press the three button, we can just drag off here and look for delete save. Sorry, we want this one. Delete game in slot. And for the slot name, we want one. And to just see this, we can drag off here and look for print string and connect the return value into here. So now if I go compile and I go play, when I press um, two, it will load my um, save transform that we set up earlier. But now if I press three, we can see it print strings true, which means it's deleted my save. And now if I try and press two, I can't um, load my um, transform. So that's the basic overview of how the um, save system works inside of Unreal Engine. You can do this to save other variables or other things inside of your game. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.